You mentioned earlier at your time with McLaren, you were with Ayrton Senna. We're here in Monaco this weekend, Ayrton Senna known as the king of Monaco. Um, are there any particular stories or memories that you have with, with Ayrton that stand out with your I mean, legacy? Well, first of all, I was extremely lucky to be able to work within that era mm. um, and to work with him. Um, and he was just an extraordinary individual. I mean, it, you know, a lot of, there's a lot of talk about people like Ayrton, like Michael Schumacher, that they, their, the perception that people had of them at the time was somebody who was very hard-nosed, tight and, mm. you know, tough. But at the same time, that was, that was what they had to do. That's why they were successful in a race car. Mm. So, you know, in a sense, once they pulled their helmet on and, and dropped the visor down, mm. that was their primary focus. But out of the car, they were just extraordinary people. I mean, they really were extraordinary. I mean, you, you look at what, and, and, and that's why they have such an extraordinary legacy. Mm. I and mean, the Senna Foundation still continues this day. The, I mean, poor Michael and what he's been through is tragic. But it doesn't change the fact that he was a, a fantastic champion mm. and most importantly, a fantastic person. Yep. Uh, and, and by the way, you know, a lot of the drivers are like that. Mm. Uh, it's just a, and we are very fortunate that we get the chance to, to see them and know them yeah. on a personal basis. Not everybody gets that chance. No. Um, maybe the, the increased media coverage of the sport it, that we see today allows those drivers into our homes a little bit more yeah. but nevertheless going back to your point is people like Senna were were very very special yeah. and and I feel extremely humble and honored in a sense to work with them yeah listen I've worked with some extraordinary names in the sport over my during my career feel whether, free to name drop no, this no, is the place no, to do it that's the thing I mean it, you know whether it whether it is it or whether it was Michael or, or yeah. whether it was Rubens Barrichello whether mm. it was Jos Verstappen or uh, Johnny Herbert, but then going Colin Sainz Senior. Well, going on to the rally pro, you know, the chance to work with someone like Colin, Colin McRae or Carlos Sainz or Joachim Kunkan and um, Peter Solberg, in a, just amazing characters in the sport, and to work with them in some cases employ them, sure. you know, yeah. um, and to 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 share their emotions, to share their success. And then we did have a lot of success, particularly with Colin and Carlos. Yep. Um, and even with Johnny and at Stuart Grand Prix. Yeah. Um, we had that success, but also to see the downside when it wasn't so easy. Yeah. And, and also see the, the, the battles between the drivers. You know, Carlos and Colin had this intense rivalry. You know, they get on fine outside the car, but inside the car, wow, I tell you what. For sure. That was, that was difficult to manage. I mean, hats off to people like Malcolm Wilson who managed to achieve it. And, you know, <laughs> he's carried on doing that. For sure. Year on, year in, year out. And, and has been very successful and runs an extraordinary ship. Um, but, yeah, I suppose I, I have been, I've been really blessed to have been able to work with people like that and also still, to still be doing it. For sure. And when you look at modern Formula One, is there dry or are there drivers that particularly stand out that you feel embody a similar spirit to what Michael and, and Ayrton did back in the day? Yeah, I think there are. I mean, I, I, it's probably, I, look, I, I've been a, very lucky in a sense because, I mean, I sort of knew Lewis when he was in shorts. Mm. I mean, wow, what a career he's had. Yeah. So, I, you know, I can't really comment on that because, I mean, he's just, he is a superstar. Yeah. But it, I think it's really nice to see some of the other drivers who are in the championship who have got personalities that come out yeah and and you've got people like Carlos Sainz who clearly has you know there's there's, there's those intrinsic family values that mm. you can see passed from father to son yeah. and I think that's really nice to see so and again we talk with great emotion and passion and love in a sense for people like Ayrton but the Ayrtons of yesterday are still in the championship today